My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast right now from the Colonel Crawford Local School District, it's Superintendent Todd Martin. Good morning, Todd. Good morning. Thanks for having me again. Thank you. Hey, school's uh, already rolling, buddy. Right? It is. <laughs> yeah. It is. We're, we're into it. Mm -hmm. uh, athletics is full bore ahead. and We have a uh, fall festival, mm -hmm. you know, underway and the pancake breakfast and yeah. Multiple alumni groups have already used the facility to good. have their 50-year reunion and you name it. <laughs> right, good. good the district never sleeps, which <laughs> is the way we want it. All right, so what's happening with the district? Well, I'd say the one big thing would be the report card came out this, yeah. this month, and people got, kind of got a taste of what the schools look like compared to one another, and, and I felt we did really well. Good. We scored up in the, the top tier of the schools in the area. And, good. You know, I, I always say we got to keep that perspective. I think if, if a school administration, if their sole fo focus is a report card and that's all they focus on, mm -hmm. they miss out on so much. They miss out on relationships with the kids. They miss out on engaging the community. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a small piece of what we do is the report card. Sure. And, and I, I, I stress that to my staff and my administration. You know, it's important because we can use those results to gauge our professional development, what we're going to do with the teachers to make them better. You know, what we're going to provide material-wise to the kids to make them more successful. But at the end of the day, if kids don't want to be in your building, yeah. you're not doing your mission. Sure. You're not doing your job. Sure. Makes sense. But looking yeah. at it, yeah. that it's a new system. I kind of like the system. It's not the A through F anymore, mm -hmm. to where you have a dirty taste in your mouth if you don't right. score well. <laughs> right. It's a star system. Uh -huh. You get five stars. Uh, and you can kind of do a numerical based on that. So, you know, we did uh, achievement, which is how the kids did on the, the testing mm -hmm. overall. Uh, we got a four out of five, which yeah. uh, exceeds expectations. If you get a three, three star, you met expectations mm -hmm. for the state. I don't know why they do that. Yeah. It used to be with the, the grade system, A through F, a C was meeting ex expectations. I don't know about you. When I brought a C <laughs> home to my parents, <laughs> right. I wasn't meeting expectations. Right, right. same here. Uh, Progress-wise was is how... How the kids did compared to the year past, are they showing growth? And we got a five out of five. I mean, good. I think if there's an wow. indicator, that's a good one. You yeah. want to continue to have the kids show growth. Yeah. We got a five on that. Gap closing, your different subgroups, uh, your minority groups, different uh -huh. groups. Are they, are your groups keeping up with one another? And we got a four out of five there. And good. Yeah. Graduation, what I don't understand the graduation piece. Yeah. We scored a 97.6. Which I think is pretty daggone good for a graduation rate. I think so, yeah. In yeah. a small district, that might be one or two kids. Right. You know, you, you try to save everybody, but sometimes you throw a life preserver out there and you try to drag them in, you can't. Yeah. You do everything you can. You got a four. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking you get that five, you need perfection. <laughs> I think so, right, yeah. I don't, I don't live in a perfect world. I don't know about you. <laughs> right. But, but we're happy. We're happy with that. The attendance I was happy with, given we went through the COVID the last two years, we still maintained a 93. 93.5% attendance, That's even great. through all the sickness last year. And even a COVID year, I mean, we always get above the 90 mark. We, our kids come to school. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm really pleased with that. Well, good. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, if, if, if we can achieve these results, still continue to look to grow, and, and still provide an environment that kids feel safe and kids want to come to and families want to bring their kids to, you're, you're meeting your mission. Yeah. If you miss out on any of those, you need to work a little harder. So I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with how things turned out. Uh, we had a great event on the 23rd, 23rd September, uh, the Cary football game. We had the pancreatic cancer night. Mm. And boy, the, the, sh the flood of purple shirts out there. Yeah. You know, it was just last year we lost tag. And sure, right. I think everybody's still fresh with everybody. And the mission of, of supporting that move is is strong at Colonel Crawford and it was strong with the carry you know that you look over there that they had people in purple and it was it was just a good event cool yeah. the volley for the cure is always big with the volleyball and that that occurs with the Bucyrus game and I love it I you get to recognize survivors mm -hmm. you know you get to showcase them the kids walk them across the court and you read a little bit about the survivors and how long they've been cancer free and it's just you know having had a bout of it myself oh, yeah, sure. a couple years ago it's it's awesome when you can showcase those survivors, and that's that's a big event for us. Touch again on school closings. As we get closer to what the almanac calls a bad winter, <laughs> right. oh boy! <laughs> right. You know, if you want to know anything about Crawford, if, if 
you're sitting by, it used to be in the old day, you had to sit by the radio mm -hmm. and you had to wait <laughs> right. two or three songs to yeah. hear again <laughs> if you right. got to stay home and enjoy a snow day or not. Sure. sure. Nowadays you don't. You got Crawford County now, you got WQEL. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we call in right away, they've got the results. Mm -hmm. You've got WMFD, our all call system. Uh, if you're getting a call at 5.30 a.m., it's probably something you want to answer. Right, for sure, right, yeah. Uh, Channel 10 News, we put it out there, and our website we always post. So if anybody wants updates, they're there. You just mm -hmm. at your fingertip. Yeah. You can find it pretty easy. So we try to keep people updated. Typically, if the weather's not horrible, we'll go delay first to see if the roads will improve. And if it, if it looks compromising at all, typically I'll close. But... I try to get that announcement out by 7 a.m., okay. 7.15 yeah. at the latest. So that's what's coming up uh, down the road as we yeah. get into the Yeah, to look winter. forward to that. Yep. <laughs> uh, another piece, applying for a safety grant. We have a okay. safety grant that's out there, and you can get up to $100,000 for a building. So we are going to apply for a boatload of money. One, I have cameras, needs for more cameras. I had my SRO go through and identify dead spots. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to cover all areas that we can cover with security. We have over 60 cameras now. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to keep adding yeah. to that and try to, you know, make it even more safer environment. Replacing the older doors that are left on the North building. We've been replaced. Every time a grant comes open, I try to replace more doors on the North building. And this grant could uh, finish up that project. Okay. We'd have all newer doors, newer windows, and I think the district facilities are, are heading in the right direction. We're looking at lighting up the stadium area. If uh, you go to a football game and you got to walk from the north parking lot down the stadium, it's a darker area. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, looking to put a couple light poles and a big security light on the stadium facing so we can light up everything. Oh, good. So if you're there, mm -hmm. you'll see every footstep you take. Sure. See that mud puddle that you don't want to miss. <laughs> right. <laughs> sure. Uh, you, know, you stop me if we need to do any type of break here. No, you're fine. Go I'm for on it. A rule. Okay. Go for it. I, I do this every year, and I think it's important that I continue to do this to thank our, our volunteer groups. Our volunteer groups are so amazing. Mm -hmm. If you look at those concession stands at football games where they are just bombarded with people, uh, those bratwurst yeah. and uh, at the September 23rd carry game, those fresh cut fries, mm -hmm. they don't make themselves. Right, sure, right, right. And I don't make them. Right. We have a group of people that's right. just amazing. So the athletic boosters, uh, they do a great job. They probably spend sixty to hundred thousand dollars a year wow. on the facility, on the athletic programs. They, it's it's a great permanent improvement piece for us. And they, they do the fall festival every first Saturday in October. The Corvette raffle, mm -hmm. they, they bring in a lot of money. They, they work very hard. Then that's something that people from all the United States get involved with, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Th those tickets yeah. are mailed all across yeah. the country. Uh, and there's a happy winner every year. They yeah. just drive away that Corvette. Nice. Yeah. And the, yeah. the reverse raffle is always a big event in the spring. Yeah. It, it yeah. brings in a lot of money and brings people together for a fun evening. Sure. Uh, the music boosters. Mm -hmm. Well, if you come in the uh, on the facility in August when the band's out there and the 90 degree weather, there's a group of people that have box lunches, water, taking care of the needs of those kids and adults. And I mean, that don't get done by itself. And the music right. boosters are just, just amazing. Academic boosters, they meet the needs of our six through 12 grades. If they have an academic need in the classroom, uh, field trip, uh, feed the staff for teacher appreciation, the academic boosters do a great job with that. Uh, for the lower levels, K-5, you have the PTO and they raise a lot of money they bought uh, Chromebooks. They bought Chromebook carts. They brought. They bought a lot of things over the years. Uh, they, they do a great job with elementary. You have the Colonel Crawford Lions Club, which I'm a member. They do a great job with student scholarships, student of the month awards. Uh, they're very active in, in providing for the needs of our students and teachers, and we're very blessed to have them in the district. And Pancake Day is October 8th, from seven to noon. Six dollars right. for a ticket. Yeah. Call me if you want a ticket. Show up. It's it's a great event. It's a great outreach, and it's at the uh, cafetorium at the K twelve building, and it'll be pretty well attended. It's always yeah. it's a good time to sit down and just talk to people, stress free, yeah. and have some pancakes. Sure, right. And then you got the Colonel Crawford School Foundation. They awarded uh, over twenty thousand dollars of grant requests this year to our teachers uh, for classroom enrichment, to field trips, 
you name it, and, and they do a great job. And that's a lot of business, area business people get together once a month with me, and we sit down and we look at uh, how we can meet the needs of our teachers and kids. So we got some great, great volunteer groups, and, and we're blessed. If you don't have those groups in your district, your staff would be just overrun. You couldn't do it. Yeah. So these people are, it's vital. And if you're not involved and you want to get involved in those groups, I urge you to reach out because some of the members of this group have been doing it for a long, long time, and they would love to see some new blood. So if you uh, you have energy and you want to want to do good for the district and the kids, and that's what we do. It's for the kids. Mm -hmm. Reach out. You know, I'll plug you in. Contact sure. me. I'll plug you into a group, and we'll let you have some good times and fun. Awesome. Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. And then I'd be remiss if I didn't include, talked about the academics. We're ple yeah. very pleased with the academic results. Our fall sports have been dynamite yeah, this sure. year. Yeah. I mean, we are really, really blessed. Uh, you look at the football team sitting at five and one right now. As mm -hmm. I'm doing this show, we're five and one. Yeah. Cross country, county champs, boys and girls, uh, girls golf. Four, I think it's a four peat. They were the N10 champs again this year. I think it's the wow. fourth time in a row. That's great. Girls yeah. golf, and they're looking to make a, a nice run. And I, th I think the girls cross country team team is ranked very high, could make a nice run as we get into uh, the tournament. Volleyball, sitting at 12 and three. Yeah. I mean, it's, we're blessed. Yeah, it sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't be happier as a superintendent. Yeah. And again, it, it's all the little things. If you just focus on one piece, you, you focus on athletics only, you're, you're missing out. You focus on the academics only, you're missing out. It's the full package. Right. It's, it's academics, athletics, relationships, and community engagement. If we can get the community on the facility and involved, I, I think you've created a a rock star environment. Yeah. And that's what we want. We want Colonel Crawford to be an environment where people want to come, want to be part of. Well, Todd, is, man, lots of great things going on. Uh, I just talked to your off today, didn't I? I love it, though. Thank you so much. I'm glad, I'm glad it's great to hear the good news. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to share it because I, I think our community needs to know that you do a great job for us, and we appreciate everything you do for us. Awesome. Thank you, Todd, so much. Thank you.